there is a movie coming that can redeem the entire notion of the video game movie. A movie that not only could re-energize and really bring about a golden age of video game movies, but also the fantasy sword and sandal kind of movies as well at the same time, and that is Warcraft. I'm hearing so much about this, about all the, the new technologies you, they're using to do it. They want this to feel like a completely immersive world. And yet, other than some stills, which I've really liked the stills we've been seeing, I haven't seen much. You guys got to see some stuff in there. And I'm not hearing all glowing things. I don't, Dennis, you saw the footage. What did you think about what you saw from Warcraft? I mean, I enjoyed the footage and I liked it. I just wasn't blown away. I think I was expecting to be blown away by it. It looks very CG. And I know, especially the orc heavy scenes, it looked like cutscenes from cinematics of a video game. And that's kind of what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned that that we need to connect with these characters, especially the orc characters, because they are going to be fully CG. I mean, hopefully the performance capture is similar to what they're using for uh, Dawn of the Planet Apes, of the Apes. If they pull off, like, with an what Andy Serkis did with that, where we connected with the Caesar character, if they can do that with, uh, I, you know, I haven't played the game, but uh, what's like a Dorothon? Is that the, the main orc's name? And Ogrim. Yeah. That, Ogrim. The problem yeah. for me, okay, I'm watching the trailer. I haven't seen, I haven't played the game. So I don't know who these characters are, and especially with the orcs, I'm like... I couldn't tell them apart. I'm sure when the movie happens, I'll have a better idea. But right now, I'm just a little concerned about the story and, and the characters. Wendy, you, you, I can't remember. Have you played World of Warcraft? Oh, yeah. Okay, so as, <laughs> as a World of Warcraft player and as somebody who you had your first experience now with this trailer, what was your reaction to it? I was first really excited, and as they showed more and more and more, I started to feel a little let down. Like Dennis said, it was like a very epic cinematic trailer for the game. And I wanted something to be a little bit more real, something that we can connect with that's just outside of just gameplay. And if I wanted to see a game trailer, I'm just going to go pick up the game again and start playing. And uh, the trailer didn't depict the storyline very well. It was a little confusing. It was a little long for my liking. So I'm just looking for, I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that's still going to be good. You know, I'm a big fan of the franchise, so we'll see. I feel the same way as both of you. You, Schnapp, and I were talking about this last week, how the, what Warcraft has to do is please the fans of the game for sure, but it also has to cross over and appeal to people who have never played the game or had yeah. any desire to play the game. For it to be a successful venture, that's what it has to do. And Duncan Jones, the director, said exactly that when he was on the panel. So the panel was impressive to me. Then they showed the footage, and to echo Dennis's thoughts, I, it felt like I was, I was, it was like the intro to a video game, which was a bummer to me because a especially the, the huge sweeping shots, it looked a lot more Hobbit Battle of the Five Armies than it did anything that you would see in a performance capture piece like Dawn or Rise of the Planet of the Apes. They're definitely trying to have an emotional arc with a with a family of orcs in particular, and I didn't feel it yet. And again, you're not supposed to just from a trailer, but there's going to be a huge battle between orcs and humans, and it's not going to be, oh, I'm rooting for this team or this team. There's going to be individuals on each side that are going to be good and you care about, and then there's also going to be, oh, man, that guy, that guy sucks. I, I don't like that guy. That's a villain. So... It, the 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 emotional complexity of this, I hope they're going to be able to pull off because I enjoyed watching it, but it did feel CG and it, it felt too much like I was in a video game, which is the primary goal of this game <laughs> is to show us that you're not just playing a video game. So. Primary goal of this movie oh, yeah. is not to show that you're just a video game. <laughs> I'm tired, man. It's been a long <laughs> been a four long. days for old Mark Ellis. You know, I'm not going to panic at this point because this is still a movie that is still one year mm -hmm. away. And they specifically said they needed that extra year because they need Needed to get it right, that the technology, the visual effects that they're doing is, is like unlike anything that's ever been done before. So I'm going to maybe naively believe that, okay, so what we saw is probably not their finished product. I'm going to hope that at any rate. Talking about the, the need for emotional complexity, if anybody can bring that, I'm, I'm very confident Duncan Jones can. Like if you watch Moon and what he was able to do emotionally with nobody, like with no <laughs> cast, just, and what he was able to do emotionally there. I have a lot of hope, so it's it is um, it's concerning to hear the reports I'm hearing from you guys about it. But I'm still going to hold that hope. 
I will, I will say the panel itself was entertaining. Yeah. You know, uh, one of the actors, Rob Kaczynski, he was talking about how he was a big player of, of WoW. And WoW is a game I purposely don't play, cause, not because I don't have a desire to, because I'm worried that I'm going <laughs> to live up your life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but he talked about how it took over his life and he lost the relationship over <laughs> it. How a girl broke up. And then late now he's like, I think it was Hardwick was moderating it with yeah. him. And they were joking like, oh, now you can you have the last laugh. You can say, oh, that was all research for this role <laughs> uh, and also Daniel Wu who plays one of the the orcs as well talked about how he was supposed to take a break him and his wife agreed that okay after uh, one part that he had done he's like okay for a year I'm not gonna work we're gonna you know focus on, on on our child and then he came home and told her oh yeah I'm gonna audition for a movie and she's like no you promised that we were gonna take a break and he's like oh but it's for Warcraft and apparently she is the Warcraft it's player Warcraft it, not player. him <laughs> yeah. she and she said oh you better f and do it yeah. so he did and he's in it mm -hmm. I, I know look me and my friends going back like six seven years ago living in Canada I, and I know there's a lot of you who can totally relate with what I'm about to say on our desks for a long time, because you're not wrong about avoiding World of Warcraft. <laughs> my desk comprised of my computer with keyboard, uh, a loaf of bread with a knife, oh my God. <laughs> a jar of peanut butter, and a two liter bottle of Coke. Now, the two liter bottle, now all this, the, the, the peanut butter, the bread was sustenance, so you didn't have to leave the computer to go and eat. The two liter bottle of Coke was for yeah. liquid <laughs> and, and, and for caffeine to keep you going. And in the age of reuse, reuse, uh, recycle, um, once the bottle was empty, that then became what you stuck your dick in <laughs> and you peed. So you didn't have to get up and leave the computer. You're to like go. that guy from South Park. Yes. I, we were all, come on. There were so many. So like, the only time that you had to leave the computers to get a new loaf of bread, empty out the two liter. <laughs> And get a new, fresh two liters. Like, it, that, I mean, come on, that was a lot of our lives. John Campia, not? you have thrown a wrench in the balance of my emotions. <laughs> the equilibrium of your emotions. I mean, come on, that was a lot of us. Support me, guys. Jump in that comment section. So, yes, it would totally dominate and take over your life. Yeah. Completely would.